The case is called Kelsey Cascadia Rose Juliana versus the United States of America. Yeah, I, I do get a little bit of, of butterflies, a little anxious. Who is Juliana? Yeah, it is. This She's case, a 23 year old college student from anyone. Eugene. Being connected to the earth and being uh, respectful of sentient beings is definitely in my DNA. I met her and her parents in downtown Portland as they waited for the federal court hearing on her case. She is a passionate defender of the environment. This court case is about establishing a constitutional right to a stable climate system capable of sustaining human life. And determined to change the government's support of the fossil fuel industry. A support that remains today, even though her attorney charges in the lawsuit that the government has known for decades that CO2 was leading to the dangerous warming of the atmosphere. Our government has you know, knowingly, willfully uh, made choices and pushed forward uh, an energy system that is dependent on fossil fuels and that is causing, helping to contribute to climate chaos. More than four years after the case was filed, it's still very much alive and kicking, much she believes to the surprise of the government. When we first filed the case, the government did not take us seriously. They thought that they would just be in and out you know, try to dismiss this case. Try to Not so much. The government has lost every attempt to get the case thrown out of court, and a federal judge in Portland ruled it should go to trial. Kelsey spends most of her time in Eugene. She's a student at the U of O. She sometimes comes across people discussing the Juliana case. It's still, a, it's Juliana, all eyes on Juliana. I am Juliana. All of these slogans, it's really about the greater movement, and it's, 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 it's honestly charming when I'm in a classroom or I'm at work or I'm walking down the street and someone will talk about Juliana and they have no idea that it's me. And I think that's wonderful. She thinks her name was used for the lawsuit because she has a long history of challenging the government over the environment. In fact, she sued Oregon's governor when she was just a teenager. Yes. Yeah. When I was 14 years old, I started holding my state accountable. I mean, we are Oregon. We are a green state. And she didn't like what was happening with the environment. Unfortunately, I was on that case for about eight years, and we're taking that up to the Supreme Court of Oregon. But she's yeah, not giving up. It's in her blood but and her no, earliest no, memories. Growing up, these issues were, were on my radar at the kitchen table. And in fact, my parents were talking about climate change and were, were climate activists in the 90s before I was born. I love her. She's wonderful. Katia Juliana is Kelsey's mother. She gave her daughter her maiden name to keep it alive. Her father had only girls, and it was the end of the line. And yes, she and Kelsey's dad, Timothy, were early climate change protesters. We were concerned about um, making the world livable for our children, and we were concerned about global warming and the effects of the um, forest uh, basically liquidation that was happening in the 80s in the Pacific Northwest. So it probably should only be a slight surprise that their daughter's name now anchors the biggest global warming lawsuit in the nation. It's a big deal, yeah. Um, I don't try not to think about that, honestly. Her father, Timothy, said he is grateful that she's fighting for the environment. Well, I mean, the thing with Kelsey is, you know, never sat her on my knee and schooled her in all her philosophy. We just brought her to every march, rally, many meetings, and she just, you know, absorbed. And they both love their daughter, <laughs> the famous Kelsey Cascadia Rose Juliana. Would you have been okay if she became a banker or a petroleum executive? Uh, <laughs> probably not okay, but we love her just the same. <laughs>